PlayStation 4 Slim. We appear to have a shorted south bridge. How do I know that? We are on the other side of the board from the south bridge. This little line right here, this trace, appears to be shorted to ground. It is my understanding that this leads to south bridge. Should not be shorted to ground. So, this is the south bridge. We will be removing it. It is a BGA. It's a very reasonably large BGA. So, I will have to change tips while I'm doing that. I'll throw this up there. These will be the temperatures we're working with today. Let's switch on all my equipment. I'm going to put on my largest nozzle. nozzle. For the Atten, they don't have nozzle sizes written on them, or otherwise I would share. It's just the biggest nozzle I have. So the best I can tell you on that one. Without pulling out the calipers, which I am not doing, I'm trying to get repair work done. Switch back to microscope. Get you focused. I need to switch glove. Put us on our highest temperature and airflow. All right. So very big tweezers, but they open wide enough. They're gnarled, so hopefully I'll be able to grab. to open it a little bit uh, yeah that's what I want okay they're not all my often used tweezers so I'm not too worried about bending them let's get this thing off here and we'll put a little bit of flux a little bit just to get things flowing. Let's get this bad boy off here if we can. I've never done a south bridge before, but the customer wanted to try it, so. This thing is quite large for what I normally work with. Okay, it is pulled. My God, that's a big chip. All right, so we're gonna clean this and then we're gonna measure the other side and make sure our short is gone. I do not want to waste a $33 chip if I if it's not going to solve anything. I don't have donors I can pull south bridges off of. And reballing a south bridge, I don't I'm hundred percent certain I don't have a stencil for that. So I'll skip that. <laughs> I'll skip that fun. Yeah, I am a hundred percent certain I do not have a stencil for that. I may have to get one at some point.
Okay, with wicking, you want to just glide over it like you're like you're skating over ice, you know, in your sneakers. If you ever sock slide on a slick floor, that's about the behavior you want from the wick. The light glide shouldn't require any pressure. If you get uh, tension or something like that, just stop and let it warm up. And this is why you use a bigger tip than what the pads are too. I see people trying to wake with fine tips. I'm like, what are you doing? That is not a good practice. Yeah. I'm not trying to insult anybody with that, it's just they haven't really been taught how to properly wick. And it took me a long time to figure it out. I had to figure it out through videos and stuff like that. All right, so we're going to flip over and we're going to measure again, make sure that our short has been relieved. No more short. Yeah, I'm betting I'm not connected. Apologies for that. Not that I mean in continuity mode, so. Alright, I should be getting a reading. And find a better better ground plane. Flip hands. I should be getting a side to ground but not two sides to ground all right that's a filter so it should not be to have a a short to ground at all there we go sweet so it appears to have relieved our shorts i'm hopeful this uh the original problem was this no power all right let's clean this up Give it another inspection. I'm going to pause for a minute because I'm having nose problems. Be right back. Okay, back. Let's clean up. Grab one of our. Get some of this mopped up a little bit with the Q tip. I'm paying special attention to this one because it looks like a BGA as well. Like I said, we don't want boiling liquid under it while we're working the other stuff. Alright, grab my little steel brush. There's a little bit of a oxidation on that pad. So I'm gonna scrape it up a little bit gently. Alright. Everything else look alright. Everything else looks reasonable. Okay. 
And then one of the nice things about one of these B types of BGAs is even if you didn't have a pin one indicator, uh, this has a very distinctive pattern, which is the same on the BGA, which I can show you actually. So you can figure out orientation pretty easy on that. And I'm not actually seeing a pin one indicator, so it's a good thing we can figure it out. It appears to go that way. I could have rewound the video. That's a nice thing about recording your stuff. All right, I'm gonna grab my tweezers because. My fingers are imprecise. My tweezers are more precise. Alright, that feels good. Oh, there's my pin one indicator right there. Okay, so we're going to lower our airflow significantly for the tack down. And I've been using this tack down method for BGAs. It's kind of the same as what I used to use on QFMs. Let me put my heart back up in slots. Uh, I'm going to lower that, that down to the low speed I had on the temperature uh, card, 10%. And I'm just gonna. I'm not trying to re. I'm not trying to flow the whole thing. Whole thing. I'm just trying to heat up a little bit, enough for it to grab hold. And you know, it doesn't even. It could be a grab hold in a corner. That's that's fine. That's all I want to happen. Okay. Making sure it's actually on 10%. You can't hardly tell. And at this size nozzle, I may go up a little bit. And go up to 20. That will not be showing on the card, sorry. All I'm trying to do is tack it down a little bit so it doesn't move. Pointing that away from the memory. All right, give it a second, see how we did. I'll be surprised if I did anything. But... It did, all right, good. The main thing is I just don't want to go surfing off when I add the flux. We're gonna add a, a generous amount. And then we're gonna bring the sauce. All the way back up to 99 and see if we can't make this thing dance. I think we're going to add more flux. This is a very big BGA. Oops. All right, let's see if we can't make this thing dance. Mm -hmm. 
into place. Just moved in. Great. Want to make sure we're getting everything. I'm going to do a slight nudge. Beautiful. Let it cool down. Let it cool way down. All right. Flip it over. Make sure we have not reacquired our shorts. We have not. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to be hopeful that this is going to work. Um, I did not have the whole system, so I can't test it myself. But uh, as usual, if I post it, it was successful. Generally speaking, I've had a couple of ones that ended up having secondary problems in my history, but uh, very few. Usually turns up weeks later with something else wrong. Let's hope that is not the case with this one. But we're going to clean up. And that's really, I think, really all I have to show for this video. Uh, I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions about the equipment I use in these videos, it's in the description. Um like and subscribe and if you like the stuff and see you next time